Hey ladies, happy Sunday. So I'm coming to you with a little tutorial. I had a couple ladies reach out to me um, because they um, had seen that I did this, a bunch of these using um, a tutorial from Patricia who is Tubeview Master One. This using a 12 by 12 sheet. And then I did some more and I wanted to use my eight and a half by 11 sheets. So I followed that same tutorial just using my eight and a half by 11. So you'll see the difference in size right here. Okay. So, and I love both sizes. Okay. And then I went ahead and did, I wanted to figure out how to do the six by six sheets of paper. So here is the six by six. So you'll see all the different sizes in the policy envelopes using a 12 by 12 and then an eight and a half by 11 and a six by six. So the one I'm gonna show you how to do is this one. Um, I had to mess around. I'm not good with figuring out measurements on stuff at all. So I did have trial and errors and this is so super cute because this ends up being a three, uh, three by five policy envelope and it's really super cute. And um, let's see, I'll show you the paper pad just in case somebody asks me what paper pad I used. I don't think Michaels has it anymore, but this was the one that um, I'm using. Okay, so this was super duper cute. So, and it's probably, well, you can, you don't have to have double sided. I, I think it's cute if you use a double sided, but they're really super cute. So what I did is I did go ahead and like here's another one that was out of that paper stack. So it's ready to go to decorate. And then I went ahead and altered some of them. And these dies are um, from Allie. So super duper cute, right? I love it. And it's double sided. And then I did this one. These dies are from Allie as well. This is like, um, a flower and it has four different sizes all the way into the middle and this is like a tag and this die right here only comes with the top part of it but because it's such an easy cut you just lay it on top of your solid which I did with this really pink pretty pink one and I just cut around it so that there would be that color um, that lays below it so I did that one then I did this right here it says and boss girl and that is from um, sweet stamp shop i had bought that at the expo and then this unicorn right here is from ally so i just i layered scraps that i have and i just put them on top so that they're ready to go when i want to add something super cute right love it so these are ready to go if i want all i have to do is add a sentiment and they're cute or if i just want to gift these like that for somebody else to use that's perfect to gift the packaging or just the policy envelopes. So what you're going to need is, all right, your six by six. I'm using the, the little um, Martha Stewart scoreboard just so that it's easier to show on camera. So you'll see that on this one right here, it doesn't have all of the measurements up top. And um, I believe the large one does. I have that one as well. So anytime you're using a directional paper that's like this, where you, you know you have to make sure to keep this going the right way, just know that you have to score your six by six, one inch on top, one inch on bottom. So if you have your paper like this, you already know that you cannot score your one inch here and your one inch here because the one inch is the flap to open it and the one inch is the flap to close it at the bottom. So you know that you have to do your one inch score on the top, one inch score on the bottom, okay? So let me get this. Um, oh my goodness gracious, can we get it together? All right. All right, so the paper is gonna be put on the side, okay? And then you see right here, we're gonna score at Oops, the one inch. So I'm just gonna show you from here because my camera's on an easel, so it's not easy. I don't have it on my desk, so I can't show you directional up here, but I will bring it up close every time I do it. 
Okay, so you do the one inch or and then it's five inches. So you'll see I did the one inch. Now I'm going to do the five because that makes it one inch on the other side. Oops, I hate that when that happens. It slides over. Okay, so you'll see right here one inch and then five inches. Okay, then we're going to rotate this over. Okay, to where now we are going to score. Where's my score thingy? We are going to score at one and a half inches. So one and a half. And then we're going to score at four and three eighths. Now, since this board does not have that, the three eighths part on there, just know that you have four and then three eighths would be one, two, three three so you just do three marks past the four so four is one two three that's three eighths okay so where was i at four and then it's hard to see the camera angled four one two three all right okay so right here you'll see that there's one and a half and then four one, two, three. And I need to put lotion on my hands. <laughs> okay, so directional paper. When you do your up and down, it's one inch here, one inch here. One inch, five inch. Turn it the other way, one and a half inches, and then four and three eighth inches, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out each of these squares, okay? And I cut these at an angle and there is no science to it, seriously. It's all guesstimate unless you really are one of those that really need to be precise, then what you can do is when you cut out your first one, you can take this and you can flip it over and make sure you cut it exactly this. I'm not about that, I don't care. I just guesstimate the whole time and it ends up being just fine. Cause once you do so many of them, you kind of, you know, you get it. Okay, so you see how that's angle cut right there on both sides. All right, and then we're gonna do this side again. Cause you're gonna do all four the same way. And then we're gonna angle cut this. And we're going to do the other side and angle cut this side. And here. Okay. So your em the envelope looks like this. Okay. So you can see where I my score thingy went to the side. <laughs> so this time I already did one this way, so I'm doing this one this way. Okay. And you see it turns out super easy see and now it's the right direction okay so i'm going to actually just go ahead and flatten these out really well because this is thick paper okay and then you'll see it goes like this now you see right up here it's it should be the same as this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut a little bit more so that one is not taller than the other there. Oh, well, it's not as bad this time. Or you can close it this way. So when you see, you see that right there, there's only a little bit right here that you have for adhesive. I totally would suggest to use liquid and not, you could probably do a one eighth um, strip of adhesive on there, but I don't know. I just feel like liquids would stick better since it's only a little bit that you have right there. And then you have to adhere this part as well. So let's go ahead and use, and the, the glue I have in here is the Scotch Quick Dry, just so you know. And then I will just line it at the very edge, not the super, super edge of it, because um, then it all gushes out and then just try to use a little bit. Even if it does, just wipe it with your finger. It's not a big deal. Okay, so you see some of it came out anyways, but that's all good. It dries clear. 
okay and i love love squip the scotch quick dry because it's really really good okay so now we have that done that part done now we're going to go ahead and adhere the bottom part this one i don't care how messy it looks because i need the whole flap to pretty much be done and the stuff does dry really quick so i dig it and that's it see how stinking easy that was and look at how cute look at these little balloon doggies so oh i didn't actually fold this one down did i hmm hold on and we're gonna go ahead and do one more of these just so that, you know, I know I like to watch when people do more than one time because sometimes you're like, eh, I don't know if I got it. So we're going to use another directional right here, which is these little super cute cassette tapes. And um, oops, it goes this way. So I need to make sure I have it the right way. Um, and this came from the same pad. You rock. This is cute. I think I might use this on the outside. I don't know. I think I kind of like using this. Okay. So we'll use this as the inside in this right here. So because this is directional in here and you're, um, I just like to keep it all, even though I'm not using this side, because these tapes, honestly, you could probably, you could easily do it upside down, but then it's going to be like this on the inside. So this is top, this is bottom, which means one inch, one inch. So we're going to go ahead and score the one inch five inch okay so we have our one inch mark our five inch mark so since we did it this way we are now going to rotate it this way and it doesn't matter which way you rotate it honestly to do these next one this next scores so this one will be one and a half and then four and three eighths so four and then you count one two three Okay, so let's go ahead and show. There's your one and a half, and there's your four and three eighths. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and did I just score to this? I did that again. How did I, you know what? It's because I keep, I'm scoring at an angle and I'm not. Hold on, let me one and a half. Oh, it was the one inch side I did that on. Okay, let's get this together, Anna. Hold on. I am totally having a meltdown situation right here. One inch and the five inch. Okay, I see what I did wrong. Since I'm doing this at an angle, my this right here went this way. And I was trying to avoid doing that. So now you're going to see right here, look. You'll see that the score was off. But you know what? We're still going to do this. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and angle cut. And then we're going to angle cut this way. And then we're going to angle cut again. I tell you, these right here, once you start doing them, you're going to be like, what? And you're going to start busting out all your paper. And then you're just going to make a bunch. And these, like I tell you, I'm I get, I'm going to be gifting these. So they're already done for whoever receives, receives them. I would love to receive stuff like that, too, that's already done and ready for me just to alter, um, to use. So you see how quick that is? And then make sure that this is going the right way. So you see right there, it says you rock. And then here we go. So super duper simple, right? And then, oops. Hmm. I wonder why my angles, am I not cutting them right? Because this right here is flush. I'm thinking that I didn't angle this enough. Because let me show you, see right here is the score. And then, you see that? It's buckling right here. And that's because these didn't get cut enough. So, 
let me go ahead and cut more because it should it should be flush just like the other end now let's go ahead and do this side and you don't want to take off a lot you just do a sliver see and if you were to sit there and measure it perfectly then you know it would be um So you see like right for instance here right you see how easy that closes there's zero buckling that's how it should be on both sides okay and a lot of the time that's because up here it's not cut enough so now it's perfectly fine so we'll just go ahead oops it's already ready and we're going to go ahead and just add a little bit of adhesive You don't need a lot, especially with this right here, but you just gotta be quick. See, nothing gushed out on this one. So I didn't get super heavy handed. And then we're going to add pieces. You see this, I don't, as long, and with this, like I said, you just don't wanna take it to the very edge so that it just gushes all out. But then here you go. Here's another one. See how quick these are to do? And then these are just perfect for gifting, you know? You'll, they're ready to just tie a little cute ribbon on and gift to somebody else to use. So that is my little quick tutorial on how to make policy envelopes using the six by six paper. I hope that was helpful and okay. I know, um, I wish I would have had a better angle to do my camera, but I have the super tall easel right here for my camera. So it stands on the floor and it's not the small one for the desk. So I'm hoping that you understood everything easily. Now, I really quickly wanted to show you some resin pieces that I just recently purchased from Allie. And um, they are so flippin' cute. Okay, I need you to see and not judge me. <laughs> I may have gone just a tad crazy. Just a tad, not much. <laughs> So let me go ahead and show you and all you have to do is go into the search because I purchased from multiple stores so I'm not going to add the links below. So you just go into Allie and you just type in unicorn resin pieces and you will find a bunch of stuff and you know when you look it'll lead to other ones. So for instance let me show you these ones right here because there was a mixed pack of the unicorns. And um, so that was the one that I got. And then I got another one that was not a mixed pack. But there's so many. And these ones are flat. These ones are flat. So they are not, um, they're not like the 3D, the three dimensional type resin. But these ones are so super cute. And there is some pretty cool choices. So these are the unicorn ones that I found. And they're so inexpensive. And then I got a bag. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to, um, cause there was like a bag of 10 and you know, I just want to sh quickly show you some of the ones that I, other ones that I received. So like for instance, right here, this really pretty pink glitter. And then look at this one right here, the silver one, it has glitter and stars. And these are flat in the back. Then I got these super cute rainbow cupcakes. And then these adorable rainbow ones right here. Really super cute. Oops, okay. Then, I'm gonna show you these ones right here. These ones, I'm gonna show you next. These unicorns were purchased individually. So I only purchased two of each. Okay. See how adorable these are right here? Look at those unicorn ice cream cones. Are you kidding me right now? And then there's the unicorn heads. So these I did have to purchase individually. They didn't have like little kits for those. Then I purchased a bag of these. And I do have a couple more resins coming in. So these look so cute because they, they're like a bunch of little, I don't know what's in there, but I loved the combo color in there. I did purchase a couple of these. These were also sold individually. Then I had purchased this, but because I wanted this one right here, this cute little girl, I thought she would be cute on a planner clip. And I didn't realize that she came with this one right here. 
I would have loved her if they had not chopped off the top of her head. I mean, tell me what you think below. I mean, does it does that even look right? I mean, I love this image, but I, I hate that they chopped off the top part of her head. But I love this style. It's so cute. I don't know. Maybe it's just me not looking at it in a more artistic way. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn. So, and then I got these stars as well. Or this hearts with the stars in them. And these are flat in the back. Because I loved the color. And then... And then I got these right here. These were There was a pack of these these unicorn heads with her hair that's all rainbow. Sorry, I'm trying to get this camera to focus. And her hair is rainbowed. Is that not adorable? Super cute. So I got a bag of those. And then I got these super cute little Pegasus. And they came in different colors. So let me show you. Okay. Are those not adorable? So these are Pegasus, so they don't have the unicorn on them, just the wings. And I loved these. I got some really cute monkeys that are um, on their way. I love, love, love monkeys, and they're super adorable. So this came in a, as a pack, as a mixture, and I got these. Love these. And I just realized I had one that was broken. I might be able to save that with some E6000. I think I might try. And that's it for the resin pieces. Oh my gosh, there's another broken one. See, I just opened the bag and now I see I'm not happy with that. So, and this is stuff that's gonna happen. I mean, they come in like packaging that's like super flimsy and coming all the way from, you know, China to here, it's gonna happen which is fine. I'll fix it. And for a dollar and change, I'm not going to sit and have a, a fit about it. But um, yeah, so these are all the resin pieces because of course I always, I like to buy the kits so I get plenty of them so I can share. But this is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I really had fun putting this little quick thing together and I had fun creating and altering these so they're perfect and ready to be gifted. So, so you don't only have to add a little bit of stuff to them and they're already just adorable. So thank you guys for staying tuned and I will see you guys very soon. I hope you have an amazing and blessed remaining of your Sunday. Bye ladies.